Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Nigino Giacomo. Today I'm uh, working for a landlord. Uh, I had to do a couple of things, uh, uh, fix a cabinet door, but mainly the biggest problem on install a GFI was an infestation of uh, bugs, roaches, German roaches. And I um, used the Advi Advion Evolution. It's been a long time since I used the product. I love it. The only pain that I have with this product is a uh, Normally put a little piece of paper, I have them there, but I found actually the caps from the water to be so much better uh, because um, number one, they're easier to move around than the paper. You can see them inside the cabinet. So technically I'm placing inside each cabinet, you see like there, one of them right there on the corner, even two, but one is enough. They go look for it actually. And the amazing thing, I was just yesterday, I was here like uh, yesterday late afternoon, I put my first uh, bait out and uh, look at that, you know, that's already a guy, you can see as a um, problem pretty much is dying. Now the thing good, see, look at that. Normally a roach won't do that. If you see anybody will run away, it just, uh, it's clearly affected already. All I did put like maybe like seven, eight of them in strategic point, of course, uh, uh, I've been in the restaurant industry all my life, so I'm very familiar with the uh, infestation. I had several, my pest control man pretty much showed me all the tricks. Uh, technically water, water is the key, so always refrigerator, there is the pan underneath, so there's a constant source of water, you know, coming from the refrigerator because there is a drip pan underneath. So that's your number one uh, location underneath the uh, sink always you know there is always some kind of dripping stuff garbage disposal of course dishwasher is another source of that and then of course the bathroom the cabinets in the bathroom but uh, a kitchen um, so like i said they can go without food for a long time i think a month but they cannot go too long without um water so whatever you have water and then of course once you have an infestation like this one you have to be very aggressive so I'm going to do this and then just so I can see some results right away. I'm doing actually one second. Let me show you the product. Fumigation. So I can see some results right away. I mean, this stuff is amazing. It will work without a doubt. So every cabinet will have one of those into the doors. Uh, I already put a few yesterday. I can start seeing the, already the results. Um, the way the avion work, once the roaches eat it, they, um, it kills them, but not instantly. They have time to go back to their nest where they die, and the other roaches eat them, you know, they're like uh, cannibals, technically. And it spreads that way, even they never been to the location where the product is uh, located. And you put a tiny little bit, that's a little too much, actually. Could have put less, but I have a bunch of it. I have uh, two packages. Uh, and now I'm doing a fumigator. The fumigator versus the traditional fogger is so much better. Most places don't carry it. It used to be like less than ten dollars, now like sixteen, seventeen. You have three of those. You put a little water. I think I showed the water level. Yeah, put a little water. So instead of an oily uh, spray like the other one, is very like local. It doesn't really do much. Uh, that this one does a f smoke of. of smoke you know technically like a uh, very light smoke it doesn't leave residue but it spreads everywhere so of course i'm gonna open all the cabinets door and between the two i think i'm gonna give a you know a roach the roaches are run for their money so let me start i'm gonna use probably only two of them there is three in a container three pack so you put the your water you drop it in make sure to follow instruction not too much just the water level and then boom the smoke start popping out you better leave the place uh normally at least six hours uh, five six hours then well ventilate the place once you get back of course not leave any kind of pets or anything in the house when you do that there is no pets in this location so uh, like i said it's using um caps from the bottle of water for my avion pest control and of course you can use it for any type of uh, those gel the Salon Depot, just like the Avion, I think is a bit more a notch above for the ingredient than the other one. Over the counter, you can buy on Depot and Lowe's, you know, the, what's the brand? Like the Raid, and they have all the different brands, Taro, like, um, but the cost is pretty much actually the same. It's kind of crazy. It's like 30 something dollars for 
four it used to be 20 something not 30 something so each syringe is like seven something is an, an hour once uh 1.6 uh 0 0.6 hours but uh, it lasts a long time it really does so far I even went through a whole just a quarter of a syringe already did a couple of places how come today we're talking about it how to get rid of it of uh, the roach infestation i'm gonna be back in a week to keep an eye on it and see what's going on another spot i always recommend to check is outlets so you um, remove the cover the cora or this type and then we go and we check you see i i saw the dropping so i'm i put a little bit of the advium paste you see on the corner there that's enough to kill the old colony if they're living there so i normally check all the outlets that's another of my things i do and now let me move to the next project so very important you open everything all the cabinets uh, uh um all the doors, everything is open, so we have, uh, and I already put the paste inside, the, the Advion, but now I'm setting my bombs, I got my water ready to go, and now let me put the cover back, and then we start with the process. As soon as I put it in, it's gonna start smoking, I'm out of here. And of course, uh, the AC, always shut off the AC, so there is no circulation. I mean, it's better to let it stay in the air it's still be blown out around by the air conditioning so i shut off the ac and do the fumigation and i'm gonna be back like in six hours to let the place um, ventilate so i'm going um i'm starting the process show you quickly what's happening i won't breathe this stuff as soon as it starts smoking i'm out of here i put it in the water and uh, one i have two uh, the other one is right here i went I overboard i see i see a guy coming out of his nest Clearly start getting the effect. Normally they don't do that. They don't walk this low. Let me see. Yeah, you see, it's not um, a normal roach. Normally they, they won't come out in the daytime. So they start getting woozy. So you see, the thing starts. So much better than the other one with the aerosol. They really don't do much. So, wow. Okay, now I hold my breath, so. I'm out of here. Same with the other one. So that's it. There's gonna be a lot of smoke coming out. You see? Okay, that's it. Thanks again for watching. This is Ingenious Giacomo. Today we did a little thing about uh, German roaches and how to get rid of them.